news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television, bringing you the most up-to-date news from your Linmar Your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Bringing you the most up-to-date news from your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Wednesday, May 6, 2010. And here's a look at the stories making news across your Linmar campus. Our top story. It's one of the newest clubs on campus, and our club connection expert, Emily Sable, and a very special guest, tell us more. Join me is Dan from Ultimate Frisbee Club. Tell us all about it, Dan. Well, Ultimate Frisbee Club is a club that is dedicated to the sport of Ultimate Frisbee, and it's open to anybody um, from any background of the game, whether it's advanced or you've never played it in your life. When and where do you guys meet? Uh, we meet Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings at 6.30 at Tobby Park, and then uh, 6.30 p.m., Tuesday, Thursdays at Armstrong. If someone wants to find out more, who should they talk to? Well, you'd want to talk to me or Drew Bloom or our uh, club sponsor, Mr. Starkey. And if there's one thing you want people to know about Ultimate Club, what would that be? It's co-ed, so girls don't <laughs> feel left out. Thanks for stopping by. Yep, thank you. Check it out. That's Ultimate Frisbee Club. Austin, back to you. Thank you. Nice background. In other news, seniors, please check the bulletin boards in the media center. If your name is on the list, you will need to return your books or pay for them before graduation rehearsal. The price of the book or books is posted on the list. Checks should be made payable to Limar High School Library Fines. Thank you. Seniors, the list of 2010 course recipients is posted outside Mrs. Pache's room. If there are errors, please let her know. Do not interrupt her class, see her before or after school. Time to talk prom. If your prom guest does not attend Limar, you must fill out a date request form. They are due today in the main office. Here with much more prom information are today's anchors in training, the dynamic duo, John and Jeff. Prom tickets will be available on sale in room L717, Miss Crandall's room, from 7.45 a.m. to 8.35 a.m. next Tuesday through Thursday. Only seniors can purchase tickets on Tuesday. Juniors have to wait until Wednesday. Tickets are cheaper if you buy them before prom night. Advanced tickets are $15 per person or $25 per couple. If you wait until prom night, tickets are $18 per person and $30 per couple. Read Photography will be taking pictures between 4 and 9.30 p.m. You can buy a photo package or the photo booth will be available as well. You can get two sheets of photo pictures, four on each strip, for just $5. And most important, make sure you have your ID. You will not be admitted without an ID. You will be sent home, so please don't forget. Austin, back to you. Thank you. Seniors, your book is looking for pictures for the best friends and senior couples pages. Please look for your favorite picture of your BFF or you and your sweetie and turn them into Mrs. Kelly as soon as possible. If you're interested in learning about the 2011 trip to England and France, Come to the meeting Tuesday night at 6 in Mr. Becker's room, I-210. Key club members, Haiti and my heart wristbands and money are due to Mrs. Oldfield by tomorrow. And now, conference champ Noah Evans joins us with the morning. Joins us with this morning's sports. Well, thanks, Climbs. On the scoreboard, boys tennis beat Washington 6-3. And congratulations to Ryan Pache as he improves his school record in the discus to 181 feet 9 inches. Aaron Hunter set new school records in the 100 and 200 meter dashes. 100 meter time of 10.73 beats the old record of 10.76 from 1994. 200 meter time of 22.12 beats the old record of 22.2, also in 94. Watch out, Usain Bolt. All school records were set Tuesday night at the first ever Clark Weaver Relays. Tonight in Lamar Sports, Varsity and JV Girls Soccer will host Kennedy at 4.15 p.m. Team dismissed at 2.50. Come to the game and see who wins the change war against Kennedy. All proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society, and a raffle of valuable prizes will be held between the varsity and JV games. Go Lions! Also tonight, varsity girls tennis will play at UK Set at 4.30 p.m., team dismissed at 2.20. Varsity boys tennis will host UK Set at 4 p.m. 
JV and varsity girls golf will host Jefferson at Hunters Ridge at 315, team dismiss at 220. Freshmen, sophomore, and varsity boys soccer will play at Kennedy at 515. In other sports news, all guys interested in going out for fall golf, please see Mr. Hoeffel in room 154 for a meeting Monday morning at 8.15 p.m. That's your sports world champion. Back to you. Well, thanks. In news from the counselors, tomorrow is the registration deadline for the next ACT. The test will be given June 12th. Questions? See your counselor today. For more information on this story, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. And now Joe joins us with the Arts and Clubs. On the Lindmark Club scene, the list of new TRI members is posted outside Kevin McCauley's office. There is a meeting for current and new TRI members Wednesday morning at 8.15 in the Little Theater. They will be signing up for many duties. If you can't make it, see Kevin McCauley. Any thespians who wish to participate in the progressive dinner tomorrow must sign up in Mrs. Smith's room today. Anyone who has been a thespian for at least one year and wishes to run for officer position next year, please see Mrs. Smith by tomorrow. FFA members and our club members, it's time for a joint meeting today after school in Miss White's room to begin drawing and painting animals for the elementary kids. See Miss Lemmer or Miss White for details. Cords hours are available. Those students who ran student council election last week and did not win, you can apply for a pledge member. Pledge applications are in the main office and are due tomorrow. That's your club update. Austin, back to you. Thank you. Now Noah tells us what the lunch ladies are cooking. Well, it's a delicious cheeseburger, corn, a banana, and a peanut butter cookie. The other lines will offer the hot dog bar, Courtney Gross' favorite, pizza, chef salad, or a la carte items. The food court offers sub sandwich bar, so that's the lunch climbs. Back to you. Thanks, conference champ. Well, weatherman Gibson Acres says we're in for a nice day. His LMTV forecast calls for partly sunny skies with a high of 65. Tonight, showers and storms are likely with a low of 44. And tomorrow, more showers and storms with a high of 58. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always online. Just go to the high school website. For your entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day. <laughs>